Welcome back to today. First to our breaking news out of South Australia this morning. The state's Premier Jay Weatherall and fire authorities have just updated us on the bushfire situation north of Adelaide, which has already claimed two lives and left 13 people in hospital. Five of them right now are critical. Let's go straight to our reporters in the field. Christina Hearn is in Malala this morning. Brenton Raglas at Gawler. First to Christine, though. Chris, as we heard, grave concerns are now held for at least another five people. Yeah, that's right, Sylvia, and obviously fire authorities are going to try and get a bit of grip of that developing situation this morning. We did have confirmation, that tragic confirmation, that a 56-year-old woman died at Hamley Bridge. That was in the car when she was overcome by flames. And a 69-year-old man uh, in a paddock at Pinery. 16 homes lost, as we heard also, but of course that number could rise. Here on Wosley's Road, uh, we've gone around and we've seen not only a number of homes destroyed, but also farm sheds, uh, cropland has been destroyed, livestock of course as well as this fire came through here with such ferocity that people have told us they were so surprised by the speed that a lot of people uh, just didn't have a chance to save anything or take anything, they simply had to flee for their lives. There's also a piggery not far from where I am, confirmation as well that 2,000 pigs have been destroyed there. That is South Australia's second largest piggery. So a lot of devastation here this morning, Sylvia. There will be a lot of residents coming back to their properties, seeing what is left. And unfortunately, a lot of these residents will see just destruction. Christine. A significant proportion of the fire perimeter is under control and the conditions were milder overnight. Many fire fronts are still active within the fire grounds and they'll continue to be battled for some days. So that is the, there are fires of course still burning. The good news, Sylvia, in all of this is that conditions have eased today. All right, and we're going to learn a lot more about how much has been lost. Uh, when crews can access more ground, Chris, thank you. Brenton Raglas, meantime, is outside one of the refuge centres which has been set up at Gawler. Brenton, do you know how many people are seeking refuge at the moment? Yeah, good morning, Sylvia. Uh, no, not at this stage, but, uh, you know, there are some 4,500 properties within the area, so it's it's in, in the thousands of people that have been affected. Uh, we're at the Gawler Community Centre, which is really just only just starting to happen. The Red Cross volunteers are inside starting to take people's details. What we started to really see is donations being dropped off, and that's happening at all the many relief centres, uh, church halls, community organisations, uh, CFS stations that are becoming these uh, relief centres as the day goes on. Much cooler conditions here, Sylvia. It's really quite cool now and the smoke has really cleared away, which, as we've been hearing, will help firefighters but reveal all the more devastation. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now we've got reconnaissance aircraft just trying to ascertain how many properties have been affected. And look for anyone in the area who needs help or assistance. There is a hotline set up at the moment, the number 1800 302 787.